Mr. Jones, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Do you remember me? I'm Dr. Southwick, and this is Dr. Holland, Dr. Bolanos, and Dr. Gady. And this is the case manager, Michelle Lewis, and the pharmacist, uh, Annie Snyder, and you know your nurse, Vicki. We uh, wanted to present at the bedside and discuss your case. Is that okay? Sure, that'll be fine. Great. All right, so as you know, Mr. Jones is our 59-year-old protein chemist who has chronic obstructive lung disease and who was admitted to the hospital for pneumonia. Subjectively, he has felt better over the last 24 hours. His sputum uh, production has decreased, and now he only has scant white sputum production. Objectively, his temperature is 37.2, pulse is 70, respiratory rate of 16, blood pressure 130 over 80. On his physical exam today, his lung examination only reveals scattered rawls in the left lower lung field, and his E to A changes have now resolved. His white blood cell count has decreased from 14,000 with 90% PMNs to 9,000 with 70% PMNs. His chest x-ray uh, two days ago demonstrated a stable left lower lobe infiltrate, and his sputum gram stain revealed gram-positive lancet-shaped diplococci. However, his culture only grew normal throat flora. His urine antigen, though, was positive for strep pneumonia. So for my assessment, uh, Mr. Jones' pneumococcal pneumonia is steadily improving. In my plan, we can discontinue his IV ceftriaxone and continue him on his oral azithromycin alone. And in terms of disposition, if he continues to improve, I think that he could be discharged to home tomorrow. Great. Mr. Jones, can I take a quick listen to you here? Let me listen to your heart first. Okay, can you sit forward for me? Take big breaths through your mouth. Okay, say E. 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 Right. So I agree. Uh, why don't we also give him an incentive spirometer, you know, help increase his breathing capacity. Uh, Vicki, do you have any concerns for us today? No, he's been ambulating in the hall without significant shortness of breath. He's eating all his meals. I think a discharge in the morning would be okay. Is he going to need home oxygen? I noticed his SATs have been a little bit low. He does have chronic hypoxia with exertion because of his COPD, so he will need home oxygen. Okay. okay. I can so, get that set up at home. Great, great. So, Mr. Jones, uh, do you have any questions at this point? Uh, everything seems okay. Uh, the azithromycin, when I take it, makes me a little bit nauseous. Is there anything else I could get? So we could actually give amoxicillin, which would effectively treat the pneumococcus. That should work. Great. I would recommend amoxicillin 875 milligrams twice a day for five more days. And based on his response to the ceftriaxone and uh, estimated renal function. So ordering uh, amoxicillin 875 milligrams PO twice per day for five days? His insurance covers that. Great. So Mr. Jones, our plan is uh, switch you to oral amoxicillin today and discharge you tomorrow for another four days of antibiotics after that. Now, just to be sure you understand our plan, could you repeat back uh, the plan for, for you? Uh, I'm going to be on amoxicillin for five days, and then I'll probably go home tomorrow and I'll have oxygen at home. Exactly. Uh, really good to see you today, and keep up the great work on healing.